What's up, everybody? Welcome to Marketing by John. LinkedIn is one of the darling social media platforms of 2020 headed into 2021. TikTok, LinkedIn, and you're about to hear about something called Clubhouse. So let's focus on LinkedIn for a moment because if you're watching this, chances are you're interested in business and marketing, and LinkedIn is the place to go. So let me explain to you how it works and how it can work for you or your business. So first of all, Putting time into your personal profile is way better than your professional profile. So your business's profile, it's good. It's good to optimize it. Make sure it's clean, has the information on there that you're, uh, you're, you want your customers to see. But your personal profile as a leader and or an employee is going to work for your company much better. The reason is people want to do business with people, not other businesses, right? So form, uh, optimize your professional profile, but put your effort into your personal profile. Profile. Now, how do you do that? Okay, step one. Content on linked right, LinkedIn right now that is doing well, uh, success stories, positivity is crushing it because in 2020, we had a year, okay? The world had a year and we want positivity. It's the biggest reason why TikTok is doing so well. It's light, fun, you know, positive for the most part. LinkedIn, we want to see positivity in business. So, promotions, work anniversaries, believe it or not, are still doing well. People are saying congratulations on work anniversaries. Anything that's positive, certifications, you graduated and got your MBA, you got a promotion, your business got a new client, you have a great new case study, you were featured in Forbes magazine as fastest growing X, Y, and Z. You're one of the best places to work for. Uh, you partnered with another brand. The list is endless. You as a person should be promoting these things for your business. Uh, the secondary thing that you can do is provide professional insights. So if you want engagement, you want accolades. If you want a good personal brand, you want to show your value and your knowledge. You want to give to the business community. So me, I give business and marketing uh, advice, but also things that I learned. I don't claim to be a super successful business person. I still own several small businesses. There's plenty of people that are well more qualified to talk about what you should do in your business than me. But I can tell you what I've learned in growing my small businesses. Uh, and right now I'm telling you what I've learned in growing my own LinkedIn personally. And accolades will, will get the engagement, but your knowledge will will help improve your brand and ultimately maybe get you more of what you want, whether it's more press, more speaking opportunities, more potential clients, more sales for your business. Also could get you a better job opportunity or a promotion, all of the above, right? Uh, and then if your goal is actual sales, I'm going to give you a little sneak e trick. So all of you out there probably get in mail messages, uh, people trying to sell you stuff, templated messages. I want to share with you a little strategy uh, that we use at Good Monster, we use for some of our clients, and I use for some of my other businesses as a marketing strategy, even though it might sell, sound like a sales strategy. So, step number one there's a piece of software called Ducks Soup, D U X Soup, as in soup. Um, check them out. They do all sorts of automated things on LinkedIn, right? You can connect with people automatically based on lead lists. You can do all sorts of stuff. But what we do specifically is because LinkedIn wants you to connect with people, literally hit the button to connect. Because LinkedIn wants you to connect with people, that will open up conversation. And when you hit the connect button, you can send a little message along with it, right? So what we do is we use that little connect button and we automate the things that we can automate. So for my profile, in order to grow my profile, my brand, I do two things. Number one, automate connecting with people with a nice little message that every single person de deserves so that you can automate that. You don't have to go through and connect with everybody. So how do you know who to connect with? That's where you spend your time. So if you have Sales Navigator, you build lists, lead lists, the companies, the positions, uh, the industries of people that you want to connect with. You build those lead lists, Duck Soup does the rest. So now you're automatically connecting with people who are valuable to you and or who you can be valuable to. So now it's relatively automated, you growing your community. Think of it like running one of those old school Facebook ads to get people to follow you, uh, except you don't have to pay nearly as much. Second, 
as this duck soup is working and growing uh, my LinkedIn network, people are responding. Okay, so those people that I'm that I'm connecting with, they're getting this message. Some of them will just hit accept, uh, and then some of them will reply saying, "Hey, great, thanks." Depends on what your outreach message is. If you ask a question in your connect request, you're much more likely to get people to reach back out to you or reply to you. And now you've opened up a connection. You have a warm connection with that person. Don't ever be salesy in your connection request because nobody will accept and nobody will respond. Be helpful. Be valuable. Be funny and ask them some sort of question that they're going to respond. You've automatically now opened yourself up to communication with the people that you want to. It's a great little tip. The second thing that I do is we use engagement pods. So engagement pods are people who are ready to engage with your post once you post them. The easiest engagement pod that you can have is your own team, your own employees or your own uh, coworkers. Get everybody to to engage on everybody else's post because that tells LinkedIn's algorithm that that post is important and it's more likely to share it outside of your first connections. The second way that you can do it is to is to go into like a LinkedIn group or a Facebook group in your industry and ask people if they wouldn't mind being part of your engagement pod. These are the best two the top two ways to do it. The third way to do it is to go to a software program, uh, which is basically tricking LinkedIn's algorithm. Uh, Link Boost is one of them. I forget the other ones. But they essentially, people pay to get into this, this software platform. They're all real people, but they all pay to get in there. And then uh, when somebody in that pool in your industry, you get to select who you want to engage, right? When they, uh, When somebody posts... The software program has these pre-built messages, or you can go in and, and submit pre-built messages that will respond or reply to their posts, and they will do the same. The problem there is that none of these messages are real, engaging. They seem a little spammy and fake, so the, reply, the, the comments you'll get on your posts are things like, great post. You'll get emojis with a rocket ship. You'll get stuff like that. So... Uh, basically the reason you'd want to do that is if you can't get one or two, you can't get the engagement pods that are real and you want to trick LinkedIn's algorithm, which means you'll get comments. And then that tells LinkedIn's algorithm that I want to, it will show it to more people. And the goal is not to get the people commenting as real engagement that's valuable to you, but it's to get that engagement to then, uh, increase the distribution, hopefully getting in front of the people that will actually engage, maybe hire you. So those are the tricks for LinkedIn. I said that all really fast, a lot of info packed into this video, but that is a fantastic way to utilize LinkedIn in today's day and age. One last question. I should have started with this, but I didn't. What type of content to post on LinkedIn? Whatever you are best at creating. Videos, you good on video? Post videos. You're a great designer? Design stuff. You're a great writer? right stuff. That's all. If you found this video helpful, good thing I can talk today, or podcast if you're listening to it, make sure you head over and subscribe, leave a great review or a comment on this video, uh, review on podcast. It's the only way anybody's ever going to listen or see this thing. We'll see you next time, everybody. 